Another similarity between derivatives and integrals is that integrals don't really play nice with multiplication or division kind of like derivatives didn't. So for example, in this problem, I have the indefinite integral of x squared minus two times x plus three dx. I can't just say, well, let's distribute this indefinite integral and let's integrate x squared minus two dx times the indefinite integral of x plus three dx. It just doesn't work that way. We can't distribute integration over multiplication or division. Remember back when we were talking about derivatives, the way we got around multiplication or division, we could either rewrite the problem, which is what we're gonna do here in this section, or we had to use something like the product rule or the quotient rule. Hmm, I wonder if there's similarities there with integrals, if there's, say, integration rules instead of derivative rules. But that's a question for another section. We're just going to go ahead and simplify what's inside of the integral in this problem. And in this case, it's not too bad. We can just go ahead and FOIL this out. So I would integrate, let's see, x squared times x would give me x cubed x squared times three would be uh, plus three x squared. Two times x would be minus two x, and negative two times three, that would be minus six dx. At this point, if you could simplify it or combine any like terms, I would definitely go ahead and do that. In this case, we don't though, so we can, can just go ahead. Um, every single one of these is a power rule. I can just add one to the power and divide by the power. So x cubed, I'll add one to the power. It's now x to the fourth. Divide by my new power of four. Plus my next term, x squared, that's going to be three x to the third power. I'll divide by my new power of three and I'll simplify that in the next step. Here this is really two x to the first power. So that would be two x squared divided by my new power of two minus, and remember when we integrate a constant, if you need to, we can think about that as minus six x to the zero power. So that's going to be minus six x to the first power divided by my new power of one. You can write it out that, that, that last term like that if you want to, or the shortcut to that is anytime we integrate a constant, that constant is just going to pick up a factor of x or whatever our variable is. So in this case, that minus six will become minus six x after we integrate. And of course, you would never dream of integrating without forgetting your constant of integration. So we have to add our plus c. And then if we can go ahead and simplify anything, we, we can just go ahead and do that. In this case, the threes cancel nicely, the twos cancel nicely. This is x to the fourth divided by four minus x cubed minus x squared minus 6x plus c. Uh, whoops, I got a sign mistake there. This should be plus x cubed. And that is our solution. So if we have multiplication, if we can, we definitely want to go ahead and FOIL that out before we integrate. And then once we've simplified it, we can integrate just like we've been doing all along in this section. Division is a little bit trickier. Um, just because I think it's a little bit easier to, or a little bit harder to spot, excuse me, and we don't have as much practice with this. But we can actually simplify this into two separate fractions. This really says x to the fourth minus 8x cubed divided by x squared. That says the same thing as if I were to divide each of those two terms by x squared. I can split that up and say, well, what if I want to take x to the fourth over x squared minus 8x cubed divided by x squared? I'm still integrating. I haven't done my power rule, so that means I still have my integral. I still have my differential dx. And then at this point, okay, let's go ahead and simplify this. We can cancel some powers of x here. Again, I'm not integrating, so my integral symbol is going to come down to the next step. I should have x squared for my first term minus 8x for my second term dx. And after this, well, now this doesn't have any division 
or multiplication in it. So I should just be able to integrate it using my regular old power rule. So for x squared, we add one to our power. So we should have x to the third power divided by our new power of three minus here, eight x to the first power. That's gonna become eight x squared divided by my new power of two plus my constant of integration c and then simplify if you can, in particular that, that middle term. So x cubed over three minus four x squared plus c, there is our indefinite integral. So please, please, please make sure that you get practice with these um, and make sure that you're feeling confident with these. Um, I do think, I've said it multiple times now in this section, I do think that integration is pretty tricky to wrap your head around because we spent so long thinking about derivatives. It's really easy to make silly mistakes, which is why practice is just going to be so, so, so important in this section.